حب الدنيا وكرهية الموت. Prophet said the time will come to you that people will eat you as just like inviting people for the supper, for the dinner or for the treat. Feasts. And you all will be there and everyone will come to and eat you. It happened in the past in the World War II after that colonization. People are discussing about the maps of the Muslim nations. Who? Those Western people, they are discussing how we gonna manipulate what you know territorial and boundaries Muslims would get or would get and they were deciding it like this chunk is mine that chunk in my chunk is mine and this is not something I'm telling you out of my pocket this is the history books even taught in the schools and academics not I'm not going so far to get some other things from the other tools or some secret societies this is something very common and open to the history you see decisions were there that this land you know Italy Italians controlling Libya, British mandate all over the place, everywhere in the Middle East to continent to the Levant, even India subcontinent, British ruled for how many years, 100 years, and they came by the excuse or the pretext of India, East India Company, that we want to do some trade, things, spice, other things, industries, on and on. What did they do? They come and they take unfair advantage of those people and they captured India around 1850s and then till 1947 they suffered Radcliffe he divided India subcontinent into the way of so weird kind of division and then he put the consternation and all this contentment into that region people fought killed for them this population of this migration the highest population of migration happened at that time when Radcliffe deliberately he divided India into such a position that he put India in the middle, those crocodiles, and they put East Pakistan, which now be Bangladesh, on the other side, West Pakistan, which we have now. So they know it that sooner or later it's gonna split again, which happened unfortunately. So British mandate was everywhere, and Swiss Canal held by the Jews, sponsored by the Jews. To, to help the backup and they removed the salt sand and made the Swiss Canal and because of the reason why it was so made people don't really know that why it was made the reason why they made it because British Spanish these were explorers Portuguese British, Spanish French Italians and on these uh, British they had to go all down all around to the down of the good hope of South Africa by meeting those Somalian pirates, then reached to India, Vasco da Gama. He did it. So they said, we need to find another way. And that was Swiss Canal. Coming from the top from the Europe, going crossing that small part of it from Egypt, going down to the Red Sea, then going down to other Indian Ocean and reach to India. Easy way out. Bring those guns, powder by the Chinese, do the job or, or you know, did the job. So British mandate was everywhere. Everything was everywhere. All these things were happening. This is what Prophet says. It will happen to you. Then, Sahaba, Sahaba, Razia Tala Ajma'een, all of them, they said that, that, oh Prophet Muhammad Sallam, is that the reason that we will be, you know, less in number? So Prophet says, no, you will be more in numbers. The problem will be that you will be indulged in a disease by the name of Wahan. So this, some, this word was something new for the Muslims. So they asked, Ya Rasulullah Wasallam, what is this Wahan? He said, Hubbud dunya wa krahyatil maut, that you will love this dunya and you will detest death. And that is why Allah will remove the terror and the fear from the hearts of the disbelievers and then they will attack you wherever they will find you they will kill you you can see the situation in the past when the muslims army when the kuffar they hear that the muslims army is coming of course they were doing injustices those kuffar land they get terrified by this by the steps the sounds of their horses and now Muslim is ready to get killed. He's standing there and the guy's coming to kill him. No fear, nothing. Why? Because Prophet says you will love this dunya and you will detest death and Allah will remove the khawf, the fear from the hearts of the disbelievers and then they will do whatever they want to do with you and you will be so helpless like the, you know, the upper part of the layer of the flood 
you will be just like that and the, the way the flood goes and the upper part of the skin or whatever I don't know what you have but you can say that the upper part of the flood that's the way you will be so my Muslim brothers and sisters wake up you see at least we should do something call these disbelievers into the house of Islam talk to them act like the lions what is happening to us where the world is going what happened to these Muslims now the men especially the stature is not right idiosyncrasy is not right the way they talk the way they walk the way they have the fashion everything is look like feminine what is the matter what is the matter then no beards on the faces they want to just be like Grecians, those Greeks, those homo, these homosexuals, these uh, what you call in the past, these Sodomites. What is the matter with you? What is the matter with us, the men especially? Why we have become spineless? Why we have this, you know, castrated? What is the reason? Emasculated. This is not the job for us. At least men should act like men and women should act like women. And I see women here they want to be like men they want to participate in everything of things now which men used to do it you can't you see the whole world is something going to end naturalism and this is what uh, the shaitan says four places and five places in the holy quran there is a mukalma correspondence of satan with god when god created adam in surah al-hijr it came in surah al-araf it came chapter 7 chapter 15 many places in surah al-baqarah it came you know, when Shaitan said to the God Almighty, I will not bow down to Adam because I am made from the smokeless fire and Ana Khairu Minu, I'm better than him, and he is made from this dust. Then Allah says, Okay, you get out, you enemy of God. Get out from this these, this thing and then go to the world. Then you know what Satan said that time? Give me the respite till doomsday, and you will see I will make your people ungrateful, ingratitude. Allah says you won't be able to do the mukhlasin, the one I will pick them or I have chosen them. You will never be able to distract those people or make them go astray because I have chosen them. You know what he said that? He said, I will change their nature. I will change their nature and I will allure them into the worldly love. That is why Allah says in Surah Al-Hadith, chapter 57, verse number 20, that this whole world is amusement and a mere play. Everything is fake. This is shaitan makes you that it is everything is real. So love this world as much as you can from your heart. Now you understand the point here. This is a shaitan who want who promised God, I will change the nature. Now what is the nature? Man is born, woman is born through their sexual activity. Another child is born reproduction. This is the natural process because this is normal. You cannot help yourself without that. It's a natural thing. Instinct of human beings. So what is the unnatural thing? That you make something which is odd, which is taboo, which is unnatural, unacceptable, sick, perversion. And this is what Shaitan did it. Now these LGTBT or whatever this uh, acronym, these people are boasting around. That this is the right thing, this is our, you know, right, it's our haq. And we are born with this propensity, lie. It's a lie, subterfuging, bamboozling to the rest of the world. That you are born, nobody is born with the propensity of homo being homosexual. Nobody is born with the propensity of being gay. This is all made up propaganda to support, you know. You need something to clinch on, to just support your ideas with those rational explanations. But inwardly those are all irrational explanation nobody's born with those kind of dna structures here you adopt them you adopt them in the way because the way your upbringing is you live with those those homosexuals the girl is living with seven brothers she will act like a tomboy if those you know if the girl the seven girls sisters and one brother he will act like another like a woman this is what happens because the upbringing is all incorrect if your upbringing is right, nothing will happen. This is all the point here. If your tree is weak, everything will weak, will be weak. If the head is corrupt, the body will be ruined. 
This is the simple thing and the system of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You eat junky food, your body will become junky. You read junky stuff, your mind will become junky. It's not a rocket science or, the, <clears throat> or calculus integration or some kind of things which you need to solve it, like a problem solving issues. This is simple, 101. And we need to wake up where the world is going. But this is what Satan promised God, that I will change the nature of the human beings. And most of the people you will find, those who will, who will be in gratitude to you. Kufura, they will be in gratitude. They, don't, they will never listen to you. They will not listen to you. Then Allah says, then I will throw them into the hellfire with you on the day of judgment. And on the day of judgment, Satan will say to oh Allah, I always worship you. I always worship you. I just try to, you know, misled these people. And it's their fault because they were so low in their moral values. So punish them. Even Shaitan will reject you on the day of judgment. And now you're talking about the human rights, equality, equality, gender and all that stuff. Open your eyes. What are you talking about? What is happening to you? Why the man is not acting like a man anymore? You see, this is what's happening to us. Allah has created our glands in our body. You see, they secrete hormones. There's something glands in your brain, in your body, in the midsection, everywhere this gland. There's a gland by the name of pituitary. This gland controls things in your body. There's a glands in your testes which controls of your man stuff. You see, when you are acting like a woman, when you see every time the woman thinks, and that's the man is acting like, like a soft, like a jelly, what happens to you? Your body, your, your, your brain produces chemicals. Why Prophet said that they sit with the good people in the good community? You are raised with the community of soldiers, you will act like a soldier. You are raised in the community, community of those marshmallows, you will become one of them. Spartans in Greece, a child is nine, six years, by a guy, a child is nine or six years old, they throw them into the wilderness to fight with the wolves in the snow. Then they become, what? Spectre of wars. You see, this is what happened. And nowadays, if a child has a small prick, the parents get worried. Oh, what happened to you? Oh, so, so my, my son, my sweetheart, my this, my that. You see, we have made them so we have made them like this. Can't you see what we are doing to our children? We are making them so weak, fragile, like a woman. So little wonder they become and act like a woman. But it does not mean that that start beating your kids. That's not my point. I'm saying there is a way to rear them. You see, rearing is the most important thing. How you develop upbringing, rearings, these are the most important things when the child is growing. In, in psychology, we are being told that we have three stages, imprint stage, then you have your, uh, what you call socializing stage, then you have another stage. These three stages are the most important with the imprint, the most fundamental stage. Then you have the middle stage, then you have socializing st stage. If these upbringing, the imprint stage is not right, Remember that the middle and the last stage will not do much good for you. So this is the message to my viewers and listeners. Allah has made us the lions. We should act like one of them. This, these fitna which we are facing all around the world, you cannot escape that. This is the part and the test with Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu says, the signs of the Yom Al Qiyamah and this is we have to face. But how we have to face? Through the right methodology of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. If you don't do it, if you find your own way, your own guide, your own sailor, your own course, then sooner or later, your ship will sink the way the Titanic sank. What was the reason? The, the creator of Titanic, he boasted that I have made something of titanium. Even the God cannot, you know, sink it. This is what we are doing. The way we have become, we think that we are on the boat is so strong that even God cannot move us. That's it. We are gods ourselves. Everybody is a little Fir'aun, is a little Pharaoh or a little Nimrud. Everybody is a little God by himself or by herself. We control our body. 
you are nothing we are nothing we are so insignificant we are so helpless we cannot control our heartbeats what you're talking about you see in medical we are being told that we have two types of nerves systems one is involuntarily muscles or involuntary nerves or another is voluntary you see we have some things in our body we cannot even control our body intestines can you control your intestine can you tell your stomach do not digest this food can you tell your eyes that do not make your pupil or the lens short and wide when the light is on your eyes can you control it no you can't can you control your heartbeats your brain of the compartment is controlling brain stem cerebellum all these uh, parts of your brain they control respiratory when you're sleeping they control your balance can you stop them no but you want to stop the whole world and you want to challenge god that god you do not exist we exist so anyways this was my message to my viewers i hope this is the enough eye-opening message i want my viewers and listeners to understand one thing that islam and muslims are not apologetics we are not if you make islam apologetic then the destruction will be coming to you near foot because you are the one who deserve to be destroyed